virtually the Charlie Watt show. <laughs> yeah, he's the biggest uh, enemy of the world now is Charlie Watt's ego. But the lads, it doesn't matter who you play, no disrespect to Langworthby, but they have to do it properly. No, and that's what we wanted them to do. We wanted them to turn up tonight, we wanted to enjoy the game. It took them 15, 20 minutes to work out the game, how to break them down and the speed of the ball that we had to move it, the pace of the ball we had to move it at. But once we did, full credit to the lads, they went about in a real professional way, which is that's what we want of every game. Out of them. The opposition lads, they didn't give up, they kept trying to, trying to get into their own game. Yeah, they just... They sat in there, they tried, They never give up, thought the keeper had a blinder, pulled off some good good saves, but full credit for them. I say it was going to be hard, but they never give in. They, they went about the game in the right way, they played it in a good spirit, so fair play to them. Some of the football that your boys played, again, that was some nice passing movement there. Well, that's what we want. They're, they're the games where you can work on your passing, and they're the kind of games where we've got big expectation of them to pass the ball properly, do it right, play the ball at pace. And again, again, all we want them to be is professional in everything that we do, and that's what we were tonight. Charlie, what well, we've mentioned him already, to get four goals, he's done things properly. That's what we've been trying to get after Charlie for 18 months. They're the kind of things that there's no showboating. He got the ball, he passed the ball, he bothered the ball to players, won't get it back, and he fully deserved his goals. And it doesn't matter who you're playing against, that goal where he started in the centre circle, ended up popping it in off the inside of the post, that's a technique. That's what Charlie's more than capable of. He's, he could do. The, we want that more often from him. They're the kind. If there's one, and I'm probably Charlie's biggest critic, is his consistency within games, as we don't quite know what we're going to get at times. But now he's finding that. He's found his little position within the team, and now he's playing to a good standard, and he's mixing that with work work rate as well. For attack-minded players like Charlie and Dan Hill in particular to get goals, what does it mean for their confidence? Yeah, because Dan Hill's not been in the team of late. He came on in the last game against Preston and he reset the tempo of the game for us. Kept his place tonight and again, he did himself no harm again. And that's what we want. We want we've got everybody back fit now, going into the next round of fixtures and everyone's fighting for the place. So... I say we feel as if we're in a good place coming out of this game now. In terms of defending this trophy, the lads have set off on the right foot. Well, I say every competition we go in, we want to win. Every game we play, we want to win. And that's what we say to the lads. Is this a competition that we could go far in? Yeah. And same with same with every competition. We want to go as far as we can, but we take on the next game now and we go out and try and win it. It's an important one against Blackpool, isn't it? Yeah, because we lost against Rotherham 3-2. It's a game we felt we should have won, which puts us on the back foot in the, gr in the group stage of the tournament. So it's important now we go out and win, and that's how we'll set up to go out and win the game. All right, thanks for your time.